we're going to find the mean average of a frequency table and it's really important that students understand the mean average as the sum of the data divided by the sample size. So to find the mean average of a boy's shoe size we can say now one boy has a shoe size of five so five. Two boys have a shoe size of 6, so the total shoe size you would say is 12. Not ideal because we know shoe size isn't linear, but I'm sure you get the example. Four boys have a shoe size of 7, so that would be 28. Three boys have a shoe size of 8, so that would be 24. And two boys have a shoe size of 9, so that would be 18. So the total shoe size of all the boys would be 87. So that is the sum of all the total shoe sizes. And the mean average is the sum of the data divided by the sample size. Now in total we have 1, add 2, add 4, add 3, add 2 which is which is 12 so the average shoe size of a boys would be 87 divided by 12 which is 7.25 to work out the average shoe size of a girls 8 girls have a shoe size of 4 so in total that would be a shoe size of 32 9 girls have a shoe size of 5, so that would be 45. 12 girls have a shoe size of 6, 72. 10 girls have a shoe size of 7. And 1 girl has a shoe size of 8, which is 8. So the total shoe size for all the girls would be 227. Now the sample size is 8 at 9 at 12 at 10 at 1 which is 40. So 227 divided by 40 gives the average shoe size of 5.675. So Using the data we've got, boys have a shoe size bigger than that of the average girl. To work out the difference between the two, 5.25 take away 5.675 is going to be 1.575. Thank you for watching.